So I'm going to re reference um, that there's plenty of great tutorials out there on focus stacking in Photoshop. But this is basically my short version of this. Um, what I've done in the interim is these are some snowflake photos that I captured um, earlier this past week. And um, as you can see, I've taken lots and lots of photos of, of snowflakes. What I'm going to do is look at uh, a couple of these and show you kind of what I mean by going back and forth through the plane. So what you're seeing here is a snowflake really up close and personal. But you notice the only portion of this that's actually in focus is a little bit on the far end of the flake. As I click through the photos, which is me moving back and forth, different portions of the flake become visible. And you notice that there's a lot of movement in between each photo, and that is because I am a human being who also happens to be cold at that point in time. And so you see a lot of different movements going on. Fortunately, Photoshop allows me to compensate for that. What I'm going to do is I just scroll through um, all of the images that I have here until I hit a different snowflake. So in this case, the um, this is 9892. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and come down here from File to Scripts to load files into a stack. And so the number on that again was 9892. So I'm going to browse. I'm going to go to my video, my uh, uh, card that I captured this with. I'm going to scroll down to 98. Yeah, you see, there's a lot of photos here. 9892. All right, 9892 is there. Now, right here is the uh, CR2 file, which is also the raw image, and that's the one that I'm going to load. I only keep the JPEG image so that I can find where I'm looking for. I'm going to hit Control and select multiple images here. And with the last one being 9892, and then the first one, we'll just kind of keep going back here. some copies in there for some reason. Like I said, this is a, an, a detailed process. And it looks like we finally come to the end though. All right, 9850. So I'm going to hit OK. And then what will happen is I'll get this this view here, and I will click Attempt to Automatically Align Source Images. This is where it, uh, Photoshop is key, because what it's going to do is take all of those images and try and get them to overlap as though they were a stack of photos. Now, this does take a little bit of processing power while it loads up, and that's always one of the things. You, you might as well grab a cup of coffee, because sometimes it takes a while. So I'm going to pause this video while it's doing that. Okay, so now we're back. Um, for me, it's been a couple minutes because there was a lot of photos. But basically, over here on the bottom right of the screen, you see that there are all these images here, and they're in different positions. And you can kind of get that here. What I'm going to do is select the very bottom image, and then I'm going to go up to the very top image, and I'm going to shift select that so it gets all of them. I'm going to come up to Edit, and I'm going to hit Auto Blend Layers. And it will give me a choice to stack, and I hit OK. Um, and this also can take a few minutes. While it's working on that, I'll tell you a couple things. You'll probably notice that the black uh, wool sock is pretty obvious here in each of these images as little bits of black fiber. But during the process of actually blending together all of the different layers, most of that will disappear. Uh, so I'll show you how that looks in just a minute. For me, just a minute. For you, it'll just be a second. All right, much improved after the image stacking. I'm now going to come over here to the right side where all of the different images are still selected and their layer masks. I'm going to right and clue and choose merge layers. Um, from there, it's just a map, um, but you can see the detail is pretty impressive on this, and um, further editing can be done. Uh, one of the things I'll end up doing is uh, desaturating it a little bit to get rid of the chromatic aberration um, using a uh, blush to get rid of all of the remaining portions of the wool sock. So I hope uh, that helps in knowing how to edit it.